the red areas are high in beta amyloid. The buildup has probably been ongoing for several years. I'm sorry. There is evidence of high amyloid in older people with normal cognitive function, correct? Yes, but not in someone as young as Alice. At least it would be extremely rare. I also read that high amyloid is associated with conditions other than Alzheimer's. Unfortunately, in Alice's case, this corroborates the clinical symptoms that she's presenting. Well, shouldn't any diagnosis be accompanied by a genetic test? Uh, hold on a minute, please. Actually, I was going to suggest that. In a case like this, with the onset being so early, we would like to check for presenilin mutations. And that would be an indicator of familial Alzheimer's disease, which is a rarer form. And we can make an appointment for you to see a genetic counselor. So this concerns my children? Yes. I assume that if I have the gene, the odds of my passing it along are 50-50? I'm afraid so. And if they are carriers, what... What are the odds of them developing the disease? I'm afraid it's 